Good morning everyone and thank you for giving me this chance to speak to you virtually. We came to this point wherein we, nobody is expecting this kind of setup. But as human beings, we need to be resilient. Indeed, life's challenges is around us. We must all be strong enough to face the everyday struggle, especially this pandemic. To our dear parents and guardians, thank you for patiently waiting for this orientation part 3. I know you had a lot of uh, doubts and queries and that's a normal reaction. Please bear with us. The school is giving its best to comply all the requirements needed for online learning. Your understanding is highly appreciated. To so our dear students, this is definitely a different way of learning. I know you have a lot of expectations, but you must work hand in hand with your classmates and teacher to achieve better learning. All the negativity, the negativity, anxiety, and stress, you must uh, avoid. You must focus on yourself for you to condition your mind as you are about to start the journey for this school year. I hopefully, sooner or later, we can surpass this crisis that we are facing right now. And to our dear teachers, whether we like it or not, it is our task to educate our children for, our bright, for their brighter future. Uh, I know because I personally witnessed your hardships in preparing all the modules, videos, course outline, and curriculum maps. And all that's all for our learners. We can make it and you can make it. Thank you very much, dear teachers, for, your, for giving your best for our learners. And to start with our uh, main topic, which is the guidance services, I will present you this. Okay, so for the part three virtual orientation, this will be our guidance services. So, with everything that is going right now, Samboa Chongwa High School Guidance and Counseling Office assures to be at service and ready to give support even from a distance. Pattern from the school's guidance program, here are the services that we offer. First, we have the orientation services. Orientation program about the school rules and regulations and guidance services will be given to old and new students, parents, guardians, faculty, and staff via online. Right now, uh, this is the, the orientation services that we're giving to you via uh, virtual or online. So, ito na yun, orientation services. So, second is the counseling and psycho-emotional upkeep. Provided to all students and parents of Sambuanga Chongwa High School, the guidance facilitators will be listening from you to learn about your situation and your feelings, learn how to help you and your family understand and adjust to changes in routine as a result of life's issue. Facilitators can also provide direct telephone counseling services and our online video call. This is the one-to-one -one calling and in any time as needed. So, if you have any concerns, um, you can send private message to us. Uh, we have our the Chongwa page and yung sa, sa mga Chongwa High School also. For the senior high school, you can message also there. And as you can see, uh, we also have the guidance office blog spot here. So you can send us message. Or you can even call at telephone number 9914277 and just ask uh, to give you to give it to the guidance officer. Okay, the third services we have the career guidance services. Facilitators will be 
will give opportunity for students to prepare themselves well and stay focused on their career goals while fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. Let us help you develop a composed mind so you can continue to learn and grow even in these unstimulating times. Fourth, we have the Individual Inventory Service. The guidance facilitator will gather and update the personal data of the students through Google Classroom for accuracy of information. In some, uh, siguro by next month or this September, uh, Mom Joyce will be posting sa guidance, ano to, Google Classroom ninyo, guidance office Google Classroom webinars, uh, for your cumulative record, updated cumulative record. So we need your information. Rest assured, all the informations are kept confidential. For that, we all know naman that we have the data privacy policy. Okay, fifth, we have the information services. The guidance and counseling office deliver pertinent information in this new normal situation to help the administ administration, faculty and staff, students and parents or guardians to go on transition easily. So as you can see, um, I already created the Google Classroom for the guidance office webinar. So all of the webinars, whether it's pre-recorded or real-time, it will depend on how we are going to schedule you because we cannot uh, 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 accommodate all of you. Uh, uh, we all know that Google Meet only accommodate 100 ano to, participants now. So that's why we make it by classroom. So we will have the homeroom guidance. We can also give you the, ano to, the webinars. Webinars, we will have certain topics like bully, bullying, cyberbullying, uh, how safe are you on online and a lot more topics so we can share it to you and we can discuss it so i think this is the last services testing and admi ad admission services online admission and testing is being catered to all new students and transferees so for this school year because of the pandemic uh, we catered online, uh, online sila nag-exam, nag-entrance exam, as well as the online o submitting of mga documents. Okay, so that would be all for our guidance services. Now, uh, let me share you this. Uh, for, the, for our dear parents, we have your tips for parents supporting children during flexible learning. So first tip we have, provide a good place to learn. This is a physical space free from distraction and with good internet. For preschoolers and elementary students, they need adult supervision during online learning as safety precaution. Thus, physical location is necessary for your children to have focus and for them to learn. Second, we have, establish routine and expectations. Begin and end each day by checking your children's attendance to classes. For tasks and assessments, accomplished or have to be accomplished, and the learning materials to be used. Also, help your kids get up and get dressed appropriately at least 30 minutes before the scheduled daily classes. Also, keep a normal bedtime routine where children are supposed to have 8 to 10 hours of sleep. Para hindi naman po sila mukhang uh, gusto pang matulog. Okay. Third, we have connect regularly with your child's class advisor and subject teachers. So I know by this time you were able to receive your ano to, yung handbook, new handbook for basic guidelines for our new ano to, way of instruction. The monitoring of your child's academic performance is strongly encouraged. Have a copy of the teacher's contact number, phone or email for consultation and conversation. The teachers are on call from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Mondays and Fridays to answer your query or queries related to your child's performance and schoolwork concerns. The teachers are happy to assist you. And I think this is the last tip. Help your child own his or her learning. 
Every week, your child is provided with learning unit, which consists of activity sheets, learning resources, and multimedia resources for them to use during home study. You may provide support or assistance, but don't help them too much. Uh, it's a good for your child. It's good for your child to be independent, though it takes a lot of practice to be one. Let us help one another in helping your child become self-regulated or self-determined learners. Okay, so this topic is also very important for our dear students, especially uh, the higher grades. So, netiquettes. This will be our next topic. Netiquette. So, definitely it's the internet uh, etiquettes, how you behave online. If it is in the internet, it's everywhere. Below are guidelines on conducting yourself in an online class that will help create an engaging, respectful, and meaningful learning environment where collaborations are celebrated. So first, we have extend your good nature online. Text in all cops is generally perceived as yelling, name-calling, cursing, expressing offensive opinions, and provoking negative reactions are not appropriate in any social media site, or forum, and, or chat room, or email message. This cannot be tolerated. Say please and thank you to be polite in communicating, especially when soliciting help from teammates or classmates. So this is very clear. Um, text in all caps is generally perceived as yelling. Or you might be angry, name calling, or ano ano yung binibigyan mong code name sa mga teammates mo or classmates. So that's not uh, a good um, behavior, especially online. Second, we have make sure identification is clear in all communication. Start with a polite greetings and end with your signature. When you submit work online, never forget to have your name and follow the file format required by your teachers. This is to avoid the risk of your work not being checked or graded. So always check kung paano yung, yung ano to, instructions ni teacher. Third, we have share with discretion. You post only requirements, assignments, and course outputs in your online classes. If images are used, make sure they are appropriate. Never post an image of yourself. Don't leave out another student's personal email without permission. So, hindi tayo basta basta if somebody asks somebody's uh, ano to, information like the cell phone number or email. We need to ask first uh, the person concerned before giving the information if it's okay with him or her. Fourth, we have dress properly during online forum appearance. So at least you are presentable, neat, and clean. And kung walang uniform, uh, at least uh, yung presentable yung in the mid. Fifth, we have make, make use of the chat box properly. The chat box is a place where you can share your ideas and ask questions related to the lessons. This is a learning tool. Do not use this to distract your classmate with off-topic discussion. So it's very clear. Do not just uh, type and type the chat box, especially out of, out of topic. Respect the opinions of your classmates. You are here to learn, not to dictate. If you feel the need to disagree, do so respectfully and acknowledge points of arguments of your classmates. Each one is entitled to have his or her own opinion or perspective on the issue. Seven, use internet resources ethically. Online study resource, resources should be used to support learning. You just do not download assignment answered by others or hire an essay writer. This is cheating. The school has rules on this. Besides, you are denying yourself of learning opportunities. Ikaw din ang lugi. You will not learn anything. 
8. Social exclusion, not allowed. Report to your teachers if you are left out of the team when you are a member of the group for collaboration. Deliberate exclusion from collaborating online is a form of cyberbullying. This is not allowed in school. So please, if ever, whoever, man, please report it to your teacher if they exclude you from the group. I think this is the last uh, slide for the netiquettes. Check before posting anything. Run a spelling and grammar check because anything you share can quickly become very public. And I think before you click. Okay, so the next topic is the learning contract. Hopefully by this time, um, majority or all of you should submit your learning contract and stipulated agreement here at the guidance office. So just to review, what is the content of the learning contract? We have here, we have to indicate the student's name, grade, level, and section. So the contract terms below ensure that you are aware of the expectations and policies and guidelines in taking blended learning classes. By signing this contract, you are acknowledging awareness of your responsibilities for completing the requirements set uh, by the school. So in terms of conduct, we have here, I know I am expected to uphold the values inculcated by the school. Thus, I shall project a proper behavior in all my online learning instruction and during offline learning consultation. So it's very clear, very, very clear. Second, I know that I have to respect privacy of my classmates and teachers. Third, I understand that we have diverse opinions, so I will communicate tactfully and base my disagreements on scholarly ideas and reliable and research-based evidence. Fourth, I am willing to present myself well at all times by dressing appropriately when communicating with my classmates and friends virtually. Fifth, I know I am expected to treat people appropriately by addressing my classmates by name and by my teacher's appropriate title. I know I must treat everyone with respect as if I am in a face-to-face -face situation. For reading and writing assignments for self-directed learning, we have here one, I need to read and answer the activity worksheets provided by my teachers. Second, I know I am expected to submit all the completed worksheets on or before the due date, either by uploading the worksheets or submitting hard copies on the designated drop-off area in school. I am responsible to contact my teacher to ask questions if I do not understand or I have difficulty comprehending the material or meeting subject requirements in advance of due date. Fourth, I understand that all written works should be submitted on their specified dates unless my teacher has granted an extension. Fifth, I know that all plagiarized assignments, either accidentally or deliberately done, will have no merit and will be subject to proper disciplinary actions as stipulated in the student's handbook. Attendance during online learning instruction. I know that I am expected to attend my online learning class instruction. If I fail to attend any of the scheduled class meetings, I am responsible to con contact my teacher to discuss what I missed. I will engage and participate in online learning class instructions activities. I know that I am expected to do offline consultation for continuous monitoring by my teachers because I have poor or no internet connection at home. Class activities and requirements. I have read and understood the requirements expected for me to comply in terms of written works, performance tasks, and quarter assignments. Assessments, rather. Second, I understand that my teacher provides us with learning materials, announcement, and updates on class activities a week ahead. However, it is also my responsibility to regularly check or our Google Classroom for any updates and announcements.
Third, I am willing and ready to regularly communicate with my teachers for updates and announcements when internet connection is not available. Fourth, I am willing to collaborate with my classmates through activities, assignments, discussions assigned by my teachers. I and my parent or guardian will take time to contact my teacher for any concerns and to check my progress. I have read and agreed to the terms above. So now, you are, the students are to write the name and signature, contact number, and email address. For the parents, I, the parent, guardian of the student whose name appears above, acknowledges the responsibilities of my child wards for blended learning set by the school. Also, I am willing to collaborate with the teacher and the school, thus I acknowledge my responsibilities to assist my child's ward, ward in, her, in her learning task and monitor his or her learning progress. Signed by your, by the parent, you know, name and signature, contact number, and also the email. And then you are to write the date. So that would be all for our guidance services. So your guidance officer, yours truly, Mom Rose. Uh, we also have Mom Joyce Ignacio. She's in charge for the senior high. And Mom Danica Pakatang, who is also in charge for the elementary department. So have a nice day. And thank you very much uh, for being with us na, uh, this day. And if ever you have concerns, ano, ano to, queries, you can message us. Please, please feel free to message us any concerns, especially problems of your sons and daughter or sa, sa online ba, sa, lalo na pag may mga cyberbullying. So please uh, inform us uh, as early as possible. And we're here, the Prefect of Discipline, Ma'am Elizabeth Tubo or Shansi Bibi, is very much indeed uh, ano to, ready to, to assist, especially sa mga bata, for the students' concern. So thank you very much and uh, let's all uh, call it a day and have a nice day to one and all. Thank you.